Wow. 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 That's pretty incredible. You think about that. You fucking think about that, that it's in the placenta. So is that bringing consciousness in? Do you know what I mean? Mm, maybe. Do you know that you're born in your grandmother's womb, that you start getting created in your grandmother's womb? What do you mean? Well, your mum, her eggs are all <gasps> created Wow. when she's in the womb. Wow. So you are part of your grand you you were born in your grandmother that's incredible mm. wow that's really cool never never huh? really, really fucking re oh. are we recording are, are we recording oh, that's a nice way are we recording are we recording recording i recording? like that song that part um okay so we're not going to sing a song are we mitchy no, no because we're no. we're going to finish off our um um our chat about dmt yeah so um, I think that was a good chat Excuse in me. terms of like leading up to why we kind of got there. Yeah. So do we want to, do you want to talk about your experience and. So yeah, so I think. <laughs> rocking up. So I, yeah, <laughs> turning up and uh, so uh, and, uh, just with the lead up, you know, it's the same with what happened with um, doing plant medicine or ayahuasca. Oh, yeah. It was yeah. somebody came into our lives and said, okay. If we want to go next level, you have to get out of your mind, yeah. right? And you have to get out of the world. And you have to truly experience what, you know, for me it was, okay, I've got yeah. to truly experience what I've been teaching. And so <laughs> I, turning up to the venue, when I turned up there and, um, I, I, I mean, we're in the middle of nowhere, and it's obviously we're in the bush and it was beautiful. It was a beautiful morning. It's a good morning, actually. And um, we sat around and the shaman came over and sat down and he explained everything and what's going to happen. I, I remember sitting there and as he was explaining this, I was definitely getting more nervous. I was like, oh my God, I was fuck, man, really? myself. And when he, like at one point he said, so what we'll do is we're going to do some breathing to expand the lungs. And as we do that, you're going to feel that you're going to be able to take in more oxygen. And when you take in more oxygen, you'll, you know, and you in, you inhale this uh, DMT, um, you'll hold it for as long as you can, and then you will be catapulted. Yeah, he said something like, you're not going to be able to stop it from that. You, it's like going want, to be a rocket ship. Yeah, it's like you get on a rocket ship, and you rocket ship into the universe and into consciousness. I have no idea what he means. When no! He that. And, and I, was and I like, could tell he's sitting there going, you guys have no yeah, idea what yeah, you're yeah. in for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I, I'm sitting there like, fucking hell, what yeah. am I doing? This what the stress. fuck is happening here? And <laughs> I remember, I remember, um, you know, I, I saw that he had singing bowls, chimes, he had a drum, um, and he had things that a shaman generally turns up with, yeah. you know. And before I've had experiences, like when we did ayahuasca, I had experiences where they were using instruments and feathers and, music, yeah. and music. And music played an extraordinary role in what we yep. were doing. Like it was just really part of it. And, you know, I was just talking to someone today about it. When I had that eye mask on, I was in the jungle. That mm. shaman brought the jungle to us. Yes. You know, that's the only in way to explain yeah. it. I've spent time in the jungle. So I know what, what I was talking about because I was in the fucking jungle. But this was a different fucking level altogether. It was like, oh, my God. So you went first, right? Mm, I went first. So <laughs> in going first, um, when I went over, I was really nervous. So I sit down on the rug and he says to me, okay, so what will happen is he said, we'll do some breathing. And then he said, I will uh, I'll bring the pipe over to you. And he said, as I burn um, the DMT... Um, and it was it's 5-MeO DMT. As I burn the DMT, you will inhale the smoke and then I'll keep telling you to keep going, keep going, and then you'll hold it and then it's like you don't have any lungs and you're not, and then it just comes out of you. You won't remember you exhaling. You won't remember exhaling. It just, it just leaves you and then away you go. So I remember him coming over and he sat down beside me and in true Mitch style... He says to me, so Mitch, I got a feeling that you want to go pretty deep. Am I right? And I looked at him and went, okay. <laughs> like, I'll leave it up to you. Okay, if that's what we're going to do. And he's like, 
Okay, no worries. So I saw him shoveling this stuff into this pipe and he starts burning the pipe and he goes, okay, start to inhale slowly. And Now, my lungs are fucking open, so I've been inhaling a lot and holding my breath and da-da-da-da. And I remember inhaling and, as, and, and inhaling and inhaling and inhaling and inhaling and inhaling. And it was finished. It wasn't burning anymore. And he moved the pipe away and he said, okay, just hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And then the experience was I just fell back. And I f as I fell back, everything went geometrical and then I and e as everything went geometrical the trees everything the sky everything and it was like my whole head flopped over to the side and I could feel my energy leaving my system does that make sense and it was as it left my system it was integrating back into the system and the system being just absolute consciousness and as it did it, it wasn't that I went up or down, I went out. And this sensation of outness was this sensation of energy just fucking, not leaving, but integrating with all energy. And it was so intense. It was like it was coming through the earth, through the, the air, through the ground, through my head, through my feet. And I was just like, and I could feel this, and I was fucking not in my body, man. And I was in this place of just extreme beauty, love, consciousness, vibration, um sound everything was just integrated there was no separateness and it was just the impulse was to just let go further and fucking further and further and further and the more i let go the more beautiful it became until i was just i, I was just lying there in and i was just in this state of absolute intelligence and and I just remember just thinking, fucking wow, you know, this is everything. Did you have that thought while you were under? Yeah. This sense, it wasn't even a thought. It, just a sense of. A yeah. sense of just, oh, this is, wow, this is everything. And in seeing that, I just remember having this sense of humility that, you know, we we think we're so small, but in actual fact, we're just immense where we are just limitless energy and the fact that we think we are something is what disconnects us from this limitless just energy of beauty and fucking it was it was just mind-blowing and i i remember lying in that sense of just pure consciousness pure love and and it was more real to me than the body that was lying on the ground or on a on on a on a a, a, a a rug in in the forest the consciousness that i was in was and it was just like it was letting me know it's okay <laughs> you know like everything is just okay everything is just as it's meant to be and as you think you are not this you make everything not okay you know, and that's the lesson, and that's the blessing. And the lesson is to see that everything is not okay so that you can see that everything actually is okay and everything actually is beautiful. And the consciousness and life is way more than your mortal mind or body is ever going to give it any fucking sense or label or anything. Mm. Do not try to make sense of me. Mm. It, was, it was like, do not try to make sense of this immenseness. Mm. Just understand that this immenseness is what you actually are. This bliss and this sense of just beauty and love and consciousness is actually what you are. And you are, and not just you, but we all are. And it was like this beautiful, kind stroke from the universe to just let me know that everything that we'd been teaching, everything we'd been showing, everything we'd been helping with, everything we'd been um, thought or been teaching, we were absolutely fucking on track. Mm -hmm. It was, it was, and then, so then, I, I, I don't, I, 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 tell me what your experience was before I go into how I came out of that experience. Well, he explained it as you have the rocket ship mm. and when you're in the rocket ship, there's nothing you can do 
to get out of that place, mm. right? And then he said it'll stop. It'll take about 10 minutes or so. It'll stop and then you'll kind of float mm. down like with a parachute, mm. right? That's That was my sensation. So you, by the sound of it, you had a lot more conscious thought than I did when you were in the rocket ship. Well, right. not conscious thought, but um, it was, for me, it was so overwhelmingly intense that it was like, so how I saw it for you, <laughs> you had your, you, you did the, you took it, right? Yeah. And then next minute your head flopped and you went back. And then the only movement you did for the 10, 15 minutes that I was watching you is that your arms just went out. That's it. That's all I saw you do. And I went, oh, that looks nice. <laughs> and, and I thought, that Which looks, looks really like he's calm having a good time. And, and like nice. And mm -hmm. then, then the puff of smoke came out and then that was it, right? Mm. And I heard him, the, the shaman, playing a drum. He was standing probably about 15 metres away, maybe. Mm. And he was playing it so lightly and I thought, honestly, what is that even doing? He's yeah. not going to be able to hear it from where yeah, he is. Yeah. I can hardly hear it yeah. here now. Yeah. Me. And then when I was under, that drum sounded like it was a boom, yeah. boom, like it was full, like yeah. right next to me, even yeah. though he would have been standing miles away. Yeah. Anyway, for me, it was a lot more intense than that, I, in my view. Right. I don't remember having an opportunity to have any type of conscious thought. It was... Everything, everywhere, all at once is the best way I can explain yeah. it. It was like the first, my first experience, I didn't get any geometrical shapes. My first experience was white light, just like pure white light. And then there was this and then there was that and there was this. And it was like all these things happening all at once. And it was like my, I could not bring any sense to it. It was just everything was there. Everything was happening. Everything was intense i had a physical experience i remember turning over and wanting to purge mm -hmm. and then one of the things he said to me and i could hear him speaking and at, at some point i heard the drums and i heard some of the singing bowls and stuff that was going on um but i it was a very it was it felt very physical experience for me mm -hmm. and then when um at some point he just asked me to open up to lie the way you had been lying because I was quite curled up. I noticed it. And when that happened, it was like, whoa. It was like I – like yeah. I – there was a period of time where I wouldn't even heard him say anything, by right. the way. But this is this must have been almost at the time that I was about to float down. Right. And I could feel like this, this – energy of this connection between me and the earth and the sky and everything. It was just so overwhelmingly intense, so overwhelmingly intense. Mm. But then the minute I started floating down, there was that transition point from not knowing what's happening, not being able to bring conscious thought to it, to I'm floating now, I can see what's happening and I can see the connection. Oh, my God. It was so beautiful. It was like I was one with everything. I opened my eyes at one point and it was like I could see in 4D the, the blue mm. of the sky and the green of the trees mm. and everything. It was like everything had depth and dimension to it mm -hmm. where prior to that it hadn't. Mm -hmm. Um I was a part of everything. I could feel – you hadn't moved, by the way. At some point I turned over to you and you're still like that, like yeah. like with your arms out and yeah. like just uh, – like just I could tell you had been – like in, you, your intenseness was over but you were just in that moment. Yeah. And I could, I could almost feel like even though you were probably about 10 metres away from me or something, I could feel like you were right there and I could see – it was like the whole thing was connected. We had somebody else there with us and I could feel like she was right there as well. It was mm. like, it was just, I don't know, this, it was, the, the first part of it, I just have no words to describe mm. what happened. It was not, I did not see shapes. Mm. I saw, it was like everything was happening all at once and mm. I couldn't keep one thing in my mind or in mm. reality and it was like, like even now I'm just – even the thought of it is quite overwhelming, you know. Mm. Um, but the the coming down or that floating down part mm. is mm. really where I started to get some lessons and learnings and stuff like that. He he spoke. I could hear the music. I felt at one with everything. There was just a – there was a lot going on. <laughs> but it, that, <laughs> that, that next part I really felt 
uh, I felt the love, I yeah. felt the energy, I felt the connection, I felt the openness. Um, you 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 supposed to go down or in three times in one yeah. sitting. <clears throat> um, I did two. Mm. I don't think I could have done a third on mm. that first day. It was very overwhelming, mm. and I really felt very uh, vulnerable after mm. that first sitting. It was very. It was like I had experienced something that I had been allowed to experience, and it was like I had the, even just the fact of opening up my arms mm. and allowing it all to happen. It was this. There was a. It wasn't the same sense of letting go. I don't think as you had, but it was what I needed in the way mm. I needed it. Mm. Does that make mm. sense? Yeah. Um, I asked him for a little bit. Yeah. And I think me asking for a little bit meant it was less of a head experience and more of a physical experience right, for me. Right. But even so, it was very, very intense and very full on and mm. very beautiful and overwhelming all at the same time. Mm, you know? mm, mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 I think that um, I mean, there's so much more to talk about. I don't know whether we want to talk about it now or, or whether we want to do Well, I'd like to, I'd like to talk about, and we may not so talk about it now. There's yeah. more, there's a lot that's happened since, but, yeah. um, cause uh, I want to talk about coming out of it, but I, maybe we need to do one more uh, podcast, podcast and just that. talk and d dive yeah. deeper into that. Yeah, into there's a happened. lot more, there's a lot more even to talk about what happened afterwards yeah. and, and how I noticed the shift mm. in, in both of us, but, mm. Um, what happened afterwards? Should we do a different one? Yeah. We've been talking about twenty odd minutes or yeah, so now. Yeah, maybe we should. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So, we, should we do another one? Yeah. Okay. Cool. We will. Let's go. Let's do it.